Hi, I'm Ricky Young with UT Watchdog. Over the weekend, we covered a story by the Center for Investigative Reporting about the GI Bill, which gives federal financial aid to Iraq and Afghanistan war veterans. That aid has helped veterans to the tune of $600 million in California in the past five years, and the top institution receiving these funds is the San Diego campus of the University of Phoenix. Now, you'd think that would be a great thing, helping veterans, but the gist of this story by the Bay Area group that did the report was that the University of Phoenix and other for-profit schools offer a lesser education at a greater price, and they leave graduates with worthless degrees and no job prospects. Given that, we've asked Mark Brenner, chief of staff at the University of Phoenix parent company, to come talk to us about this. Mark, these are some pretty serious charges. What do you have to say about these findings? Well, I, I appreciate the opportunity to be here today, and, and thank you for having me join. Uh, Thanks for coming. I, I think the key for us is that uh, we make sure that we serve our military students with a flexible, affordable, high-quality education. Uh, in this case, uh, the document that was produced seemed to indicate that taking a couple of factors, uh, whether or not you're in the Cal Grant program or whether or not your students receive Cal Grants, and uh, the nature of your accreditation status as a driver of quality. And, and we certainly um, um, agree that quality is an important metric, but we think that the author chose a couple of pieces of data, uh, which we certainly pointed out to him, have significant inaccuracies in providing, uh, in providing mm. his conclusions. Well, I, I wanted to just uh, talk, look, take a look at how much money we're talking about here. University of Phoenix re received $95 million over the past five years. That's just the San Diego campus. And according to CIR, that's more than all the schools in the University of California system combined. Mark, Mark why is that? So I, I think the, the, the reality is it's a great story and not a negative story, which is uh, the University of Phoenix here in San Diego has done an incredible job helping students. Uh, in this case, uh, over 4,000 military students, uh, as reported through the federal database. Uh, and yes, we've done a better job of supporting military students than the California system. But they've done a, a pretty good job with their 16 campuses. I think it's roughly 3,800 students in that same time period. Um, I, I think that the key here is the combination of the staff we have, uh, the folks who have previously served in the military here in San Diego, uh, and the uh, affordability of the programs, the uh, accessibility either at night or online, uh, certainly have led military students to seek us out. I'll add that you know the, the, those that serve military families, veteran service organizations, uh, have uh, bestowed upon us, and it's certainly an honor and a privilege, uh, very high rankings as it relates to serving those military families. Now, as you mentioned, uh, an another thing they looked at there was these educational outcomes. The University of Phoenix has higher student loan default rates and lower graduation rates than any of these UC schools you can see in that chart there. Uh, now, the, uh, the CIR report indicated that these statistics mean your school is substandard. I think you're saying that's not the case. Yeah, I, 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 uh, we're certainly saying that's not the case. I think if you look at our graduation rates, and we certainly talk to this journalist about what we report on a regular basis through our academic report, available right on our website at uh, uopx.edu, uh, shows we have a, a 35 to 37 percent graduation rate. Mm. Uh, again, that could be higher. Uh, but it's certainly uh, fairly significantly higher than some of the other institutions we're talking about. Additionally, uh, it's regrettable that uh, the reporter chose to use uh, some inaccurate uh, graduation rates, knowingly inaccurate graduation rates. In fact, the Secretary of Education has said the data that they track only tracks first-time, full-time students. Yeah. So if you're here in San Diego, in the military, uh, we know from the number of students that have come to us, you're likely to have had some credits in the past. Right. You wouldn't be counted in this data. Right. So you add to that. They uh, don't get credit for that, uh, or you don't get credit for that because you're giving them credit for that being in the military, right? Well, so. re regrettably for those military students, they're not counted. Yeah. Uh, and, and that's unfortunate. The Secretary of Education said he needs to fix that. Uh, certainly a number of the veteran service organizations have come out uh, asking for that fix. We genuinely believe that that needs to occur as well. Uh, First-time, full-time students are an exception and not the rule, not just at the University of Phoenix, but across the United States. And so making sure there's accurate information at the federal level and the state level to provide people with the data to make good decisions is an important part of what we think they should do. Yeah. 
Well, I just wanted to say our reporter Ashley McGlone talked to a number of students from Phoenix and other private for-profit schools, and many of them had positive experiences and were glad the GI Bill was there for them. As the Center for Investigative Reporting pointed out, state and federal agencies don't track whether veterans find jobs, so largely what we have is anecdotal. One graduate the center spoke with was David Pace, who runs cables for BAE here in San Diego. We followed up with him and he said his new degree didn't land him a new job, but he's hopeful it will help him move into management someday at BAE. So, Mark, thanks for coming. And for The Watchdog, I'm Ricky Young, UTTV.